I have four brand new accounts here with 1 to 50, 1 to 200, 1 to 500 and 1 to 1000 leverage. They're all exactly the same with $2000 in their account balance and they're all on the same broker FBS. To show you exactly how leverage impacts your account, I'm going to place a one lot trade in every single one of these. I'm going to press the buy button. I tried to press at the same time but there'll be a few microseconds between each one where I move my mouse between one terminal to the other terminal. And that is done. I've actually taken a screenshot instead of sharing live screen with you because the numbers keep on changing and I wanted to be able to make my point across crystal clear. So this is a screenshot of what happened after I took the trade. And you notice on the first account with 1 to 50 leverage that I have received an error, not enough money. So with 1 to 50 leverage on a $2,000 account, I was not able to place a one lot trade. However, I was successful on the, all the other accounts and you'll notice that they're all about at the same amount of losses. They're all at about $24, $25 um, losses which I'm paying for in spread. And the difference between a 24, 25 is mainly because it took me a few seconds to move from one platform to the other platform, click on the buy button. If I was pressing them all at the same time and they're all executed at the same time, all of them would have the same floating profit and loss. So the first lesson we've learned here is regardless of what leverage it is, whether it's um, 200, 500 or 1000, the same trade will have the same amount of losing uh, profits. What's different about them is the margin and the free margin. So in the first account, which has one to 200 leverage, the margin is $500 and the free margin is about 1,400. Whereas in the uh, one to 500 leverage, the margin is lower at $200 and the free margin is um, higher at 1,700. And lastly, on the 1,000 leverage, We've got a smaller margin of all, $111 with a free margin of $1,800. Huh? What does that mean? To understand leverage, we also need to understand margin. And Baby Pips has a fantastic example of what margin is, but I'm going to explain it into my own words. I've converted the diagram you saw before of the four empty foot four terminals into this simpler diagram. So before you saw, I placed one lots, and this is showing you how much margin is used. On the left here hand side here, we've got the broker, which is represented by a poop sign. And on the right here, we've got us, in the green. So we've got the four accounts, one to 50, one to 200, one to 500, and one to 1000 leverage. When we place a trade, the broker needs to take some money and put it aside, and we get this money back at the end of the trade when we've closed it. So the broker here in the red, for a um, one to 50 leverage account, you saw I was unable to open a one lot trade. However, for a 1 to 200 account, the broker took 28% of our $2,000 account. We haven't lost that money. The broker is just putting it aside and will give it to us back after the trade. So you can see the higher the leverage at 1 to 1,000, the broker is only keeping 6% of in our entire um, account. And this green part on the right hand side, that is free margin. So that is the amount of money we're still left within our account to place more trades if we wanted to. That's for a one lot trade. What about a two lot trade? Back to my four MT4 terminals and you can see I've placed two trades for the other three accounts and the first account with one to 50 leverage, I'm still unable to place a trade on that one. So for the other three, remember that I couldn't press the buttons all at the same time. So the uh, amount of floating profit and loss is approximate, but you can see they're all at about $37, $38. So leverage again still does not have an impact on the amount of profits and loss that we have in our trades. However, the margin from our 1 to 200 leverage account is 1,100, our 500 leverage account is 445, and our 1,000 leverage account is 222. It's a bit hard to see, so back to my poop picture. Again, the broker is on the left in the red, and we are here in the green. And the green represents how much money we have, so for a two lot trade on a 1 to 200 account, um, the broker is taking 56% of our money and putting it aside to give it back to us after we finish our trade. 
and as the leverage increases up to one to 1,000, the broker is only keeping 11%. So you can see the huge difference between a one to 200 leverage and one to 1,000 leverage, the broker is keeping much less of our money and we have more money to play with. One last example, I've got three accounts again, all with three lots now this time. And you can see the profit and loss is about the same across all of them. So again, leverage has not made an impact on how much we're making in terms of profits and losses. Back to our poop picture. You can see for a three lot trade in a one to 200 um, leverage account, the broker has taken 84% of all the money that we have and put it aside. So with this account, we won't be able to place any more trades. I won't be able to place another lot um, on this account. However, with the one to 1000, I can place many, many more trades because I still have in the green here, a lot of money I can play with. When people say having higher leverage makes you lose more money, that's actually not the case. We can see that in all three accounts on the 200, 500 and 1000 leverage, the same three lots, we're losing the, about the same amount of money in all three accounts. However, you can see in the red, this is the amount of money that the broker has taken and put aside. So for the lower leverage accounts, the broker puts more money aside. So if we were to get a margin call, um, this is the amount of money that we will get back. And a margin call differs between each brokers. It pretty much means when this red part takes up almost your entire account, then the broker will force close all your trades and give you back this money that is in the red. So there are some benefits to having a lower leverage account. That means if you do something silly and you accidentally blow your account, you will get more money back than if you had a higher leverage account and you did something silly, then potentially you won't get back much money from your broker. But having lower leverage also does cripple you in terms of the different strategies that you can use. With a lower leverage account, you can't really use Grid and Martingale, which are high risk strategies to make higher profits and bigger losses. So with a higher leverage account, you can have um, bigger losses and bigger profits and you can have many, many more trades open. So when you have a robot or for an expert advisor that only takes one trade at a time, leverage doesn't really matter. Lower leverage accounts are okay. But if you do have an expert advisor that takes lots of trades at one time, you will need bigger leverage to handle the bigger open trades. I hope my interpretation of what leverage and margin makes sense to you. I will post a link in the description below to the baby pips definition, which is much more technical than my poop definition. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I nerd out on analysis of expert advisors and robots. Check out this video right here where I review an expert advisor and really nerd out on the statistics. Thanks for watching till the end. Bye.